I'm just so hopeful, excited, worried about Election Day in terms of exit polling on the issue of abortion and whether there will be the turnout that a lot of people are telling me privately that that's what they're voting on. But who knows? Yeah, and Generation Z is going to have a lot to say about that. Let's continue Absolutely. this conversation with John Della Volpe. He's the director of polling at the Institute of Politics at Harvard University, out with new numbers on young voters just this morning. John also is an MSNBC political contributor and author of the book, Fight, How Gen Z is Channeling Their Fear and Passion to Save America. America. John, it's great to see you. A lot of nodding as you listen to Daniela's yeah. piece there. What did you hear that rang true for you? Um, Daniela did a, a, an incredible job with those young people from, from Arizona. And I guess a couple things rang true, one of which was fight, right? You know, we talked about how this generation, um, not sure that the American dream can be there for them, but it's their duty and the responsibility to vote, not just for themselves, but as Daniela pointed at the end, for those even more vulnerable than themselves. And I think that's an incredibly important um, uh, element of this. Listen, Willie, I'm, I'm not sure whether we'll see a red wave or a blue wave in a couple of weeks. I am positive we will see a Gen Z wave, especially in the battleground states. And I think that came out um, loud and clear from Danielle's case. And that gets us right to your polls out this morning that show these extraordinary numbers of Gen Z voters who say they definitely will turn out in these midterms. What'd you find? So um, can I can I take a, a, a step back for a second yeah. here, right? Because we've had a lot of conversations in the past about will young people turn out? Okay. If you were a betting person and over the last 40 years, you bet that young people won't turn out in significant numbers. And those young people were baby boomers, right, in the 80s, Gen Xers in the 90s, millennials in the early 2000s. You have been right more than you have been wrong. But that's history. Since 2008, we've seen essentially a doubling of participation among young people. We went from, an up, from a time when about 17 to 20 percent to now 35 percent. And this poll is tracking at the exact same level of 2018, which was historic and record breaking. And it's even higher in, in, in battleground states. So 40 percent of 18 to 29 year olds in your new poll say they definitely will vote in the midterm elections coming up just 12 days from now. So to your point, how does that relate to what we saw in the last midterm elections and looking back historically? So historically, the number that would tell us in our surveys that they would definitely vote was in the mid 20s, 24, 25 percent of which only 20 or 21 percent would actually turn out. So the fact that we're at 40 percent and we're even higher in battleground states shows that I expect turnout among the 18 to 29 year old cohort to be in the in the mid 30s. And that's enough. It was enough in 2018, Willie, to turn 10 seats from mm -hmm. red to blue in the House. And when we look at states like Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Arizona, Georgia, et cetera, the combination of Gen Z and millennials, sometimes in some cases, two thirds of, of prefer the Democrat. So the degree to which these campaigns can mobilize young people of both of these generations, it literally can make the difference between who holds control. That was the case in 2020. Biden's not president without young people. And by the way, that number, if you look inside your poll of young voters who say they'll turn out, goes up in battleground states where the races are tight, 45% there. Let's look at another number here, uh, the generic ballot about which party should control Congress. You found 57% of Gen Z say they support Democrat, 31% Republicans. Does that surprise you at all? Um, it doesn't necessarily surprise me. In the spring survey, Willie, we saw, uh, which was done obviously before the Dobbs decision and before the legislative and executive accomplishments of, of, of Democrats this summer, um, we saw, we've seen a five point increase in terms of the Democratic margin. Democrats were up 21 in the spring, they're up 26 now. What's, what's telling though is the intensity among two specific groups, young women under 30, as well as young College, as well as college students. So we can certainly see the effect of the DOP decision in these numbers in terms of the intensity. Okay, let's talk about uh, civil rights, concern for individual mm -hmm. rights. As we put up the number here, 72% of those you polled are concerned about LGBTQ rights, 63% uh, of women, 55% of men. If we can put that graphic up, take a look. It's actually, it's actually um, a little bit, I think, uh, uh, deeper than this. We find that overall, 79% of 18 to 29 year olds really are concerned about the rights of other Americans. Mm -hmm. And 59% are concerned about losing their individual rights. 
those who are most concerned about losing their individual rights are, of course, women, but LGBTQ uh, uh, community members. This is something that was on the minds of younger people not well before Dobbs. In a, in a poll that I did earlier this year in, in, in January, we found that con concern about losing rights in this country was, um, was always paramount across ideologies. So if we look at top issues broadly, it's been the economy, as we've been yeah. talking about, uh, among all voters. If we look at youth voters, it is inflation, it is the economy, but particularly among Democrats, climate change, abortion, protecting democracy, all right there as well. Right. When you, when you, when you look at essentially the top six issues, right, number one is inflation and the economy. That's clear. And that clearly um, would aid, seems to aid Republicans right now. But issues two, three, four, and five a Democrats protecting democracy. We heard in Daniela's piece, climate, gun violence control, and of course, uh, protecting women's right to uh, her, her, her body autonomy. You also found the youth, this is interesting, on Joe Biden, the approval number, 39 mm percent -hmm. hasn't really moved much uh, even since the spring, 58 percent disapprove. What do you read into that number? Well, there's a real disconnect. You know, we tested his his overall approval rating um, overall across several issues, but there's this disconnect between what, what young people think of him versus his policies. He has strong support for bipartisan gun legislation by his climate action, by, of course, relieving student debt for 45 million Americans, specifically those um, uh, people of, uh, of, of color. So there's this disconnect between his legislative accomplishments, his executive accomplishments, and in his approval ratings. It has to be better communicated, not just by him, but also across the campaign trail, in my opinion. So interesting. Again, the headline, 40% of Gen Z voters say they will be out in 12 days. John Delavolpe, thanks as always for bringing Hi. us the new numbers. We appreciate it. Thanks. Mika.